Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use an if statement to create a bonus column and conditional formatting to pull it up whether somebody has a bonus or not. So on the left side of the screen, I've got some people, sales, actual sales, the target, and whether they're getting a bonus or not. And it's colored green if they are getting a bonus and red if they're not. So that's what I want to do. So basically, it's a straightforward if. I'm going to do this sort of formula here now. So if the sales figure in column G is greater than the target figure in column H, they get a bonus of 10% on the target. Otherwise, I get nothing. So let's do that one. So it's equals if. Open the bracket. So if the sales figure is greater than the target figure, that's good. They get a bonus. So notice I've done a comma there. So a basic if statement has three elements to it. A test, which is what I've just done there, is G2 greater than H2. A comma. If that's true, what do you want to happen? Then another comma. If that's true, what do you want to happen? So what I want to happen, and if this is true, I'm clicking on the target and I'm going to do times 10%. That's what I'm going to do. Comma. What happens if they haven't made the target? They don't get anything. Zero. Close the bracket. Click the tick. And the first guy gets zero. Pull it down. And then some of them get more than zero. I'll just make that into money. So it's in money. So now what I want to do is color it up like this. So if this guy, for example, gets... Um, Better sales figures, it automatically colors up. So first off, you need to highlight it. Then you go into conditional formatting, and I'll click on the top one. First one I'll do is greater than. So if it's greater than zero, I want that to be green. So good is green, like so. Then you need to add another one. This time, if it's less than less than or equal to zero that's going to be bad not really bad but they haven't made the target so those are the two colors there click ok to that and then it colors up just check it to your four sevens again just check that it works now the reason i've got a se separate bonus column there is because when you click into that it's using cell references which is okay, but what I like to use is named ranges. So I'm going to show you how to do it with names. So I'm going to highlight these sales figures. I'm going to click into the name box over there and type sales. You must press enter. So that's how you name it. And then this is going to be named as target. And again, you press enter and you've named them. Once you've named them, you can refer to them in any formula anywhere in this file so let's do it again equals if open bracket so if sales i'm typing the word is greater than target that's the test in english comma if it's true target times 10 percent so times 10 percent otherwise nothing close the bracket at the end click the tick you get the same result pull it down like so but it's in english you can see that that's in english now if you want to do the format painter you can click into this one which has got the red and green even though it's showing red um, go and click on the clone item and then just wipe it down these cells and it should copy that across exactly the same that's what clone does you're cloning the formatting it's not cloning uh, anything else it's just doing the conditional formatting so it's the same as that so that's all i want to talk about in this little video how you can create an a bonus column based using an if statement and then add conditional formatting to it so hopefully that was of use i'll catch you on the next one thanks for your time